Hey, 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 what is up YouTube and welcome back to Slay the Princess. Like the video if you like the video and subscribe if you are new. Let's go. Everything goes dark and you die. Let's see, maybe chapter one again. Is there a way for me to get to chapter three? Bring the damsel to her, a loving vessel. So this is a path in the woods. Starting over again to slay her. What are we gonna choose this time? Are we just gonna go up? Um, Cause we're, this is, uh, from what I can see, there's two chapters. The first round, and then the second round you get a voice, right? So, let's just go. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. Yep. A warning, before you go any further. She will lie. <laughs> she will cheat. And she will I didn't read everything that. In her power. Okay, proceed to the cabin. If you guys don't want to hear what the narrator says in these moments, go check out my previous videos because I've been through this. Bare. The air is stale and musty. Sure. And the blade is sure. Uh, take the blade. You take the blade from the table. In the basement. So the first round, we didn't take the blade. The daughter this was now the uh, the open, second video. Revealing a staircase. We didn't take the video. <laughs> we didn't take the blade. But she, this is an she were hand off. Play. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? Now it's different. You see? Holy shit! She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all. I think I'm here. Hey, I think I'm here to kill you. Oh, are you now? Why don't you come down and let me take a look at you? Okay. Great job. You gave away the element of surprise. Oh shit! I chose. I chose this already. I completely forgot. You walk down the hey. stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding. She's yeah. so coldly beautiful. Focus yes, she should. Yes, yes, yes. You weren't kidding when you said you were here to kill me. Yeah, it wasn't a joke. I haven't decided. I'm just here to talk. Um, what? No way. Why would you even think that? That giant knife you're holding kind of gives it away, doesn't it? She sounds so different than the... She also kind of looks different than the first, uh, the second video. Sorry, I keep mentioning that video, but it's just different. Want to talk. Who'd want to have a conversation at knife point? We should drop it. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. But killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. Drop it. <sighs> the blade tumbles out of your trembling hands. I want to see what happens. Drops now. to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. She sounds so different. Against your She's no, judgment, she does. you step forward to speak with the princess face to face. Unarmed. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. <sighs> Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. Am I? Am I going to need it? Are you sure? So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty awkward. A relationship? Are you coming on to me? How would I get out of here? I'm here because you're supposed to end the world. There's people out there who think you're going to end the world. What do you have to say about that? Uh, what's your name? That's a good question, actually. How long have you been down here? The point of the story, thinking of it now, every time at the end, we give her a piece like of herself. So what's your name? How long have you been down here? Do you know why I'm here to kill you? Uh, okay, we've talked enough. <laughs> what's your name? She hesitates before answering. Okay. You can address me as your Royal Highness or Her Majesty. Any honorific should do, really. Note the lack of detail. You can't trust her. Um, are you coming on to me? Don't jump to any weird conclusions. We're two people who have met each other. 
By definition, we have a relationship. Okay, that was good answer actually. How long have you been down here? Too long. Oh my god. Again, she offers no specifics, no matter how hard you try. Sure. Uh, do you know why I'm here to kill you? There's people out there who think you're going to end the world. What do you have to say about that? Don't just tell her that. <laughs> that Is looks that why old. they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I like the world, I think. But I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here a long time. You didn't say how long! Just how long has she been down here? If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so... dangerous? That look, though. What are you going to do if I let you out of here? I've been uh, told enough. I was hoping you'd tell me no, but I'm sure they have their reasons for keeping that information secret from me. Uh, no... And if I'm being honest, I'm more inclined to trust you than I'm inclined to trust them. Remain silent? If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here? Chained to a wall, have they told you I, I'm allegedly so dangerous? They haven't told you anything, have they? Nope. At the end of the day, Whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. Good point! That doesn't sound right to me. And I don't think it sounds right to you either. Otherwise, we'd be killing each other instead of talking. She has a point. There's a reason I've been telling you to question the situation, and there's a reason you've listened. So... I could tell you that I'd lead a quiet life in the woods, or that I'd open an orphanage, or that I'd do any other number of good things that I'm sure you think you want to hear. But you don't really know me, do you? What can my word possibly be worth in a situation like this? Everything? She's right about one thing. Her word isn't worth anything. Like I said, it's all about trust. Blind trust. She is so different than the second game. So do you trust me, the prisoner, the victim, the princess clearly incapable of ending the world? Or do you trust whoever put me here? She's wrong. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. We stand to lose everything, all for the sake of one person, and a subjugating monarch no less. How would I get out of here? Okay, we've talked enough. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? You know why you're here. Stay the president. I'm getting you out of here, examine the chains. I'm going to keep you locked away down here at least for a bit. We can get to know each other better while I decide what to do. Are we going to leave her locked? I've already rescued her once, but she sounds so different. Jeez, this is a tough one. We can get, uh, at least for a bit. We can get to know each other better while I decide what to do. That seems like a pretty good compromise. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. You can make it easier for both of us if you help. And if you don't... I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. You have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes it's the right one. You know what? Um, I can leave her in the basement. I've never tried that because I've tried. I have done the whole letting her guy and I have done the slaying thing. Although at this point, with her sounding so different. I wonder if I'm letting her go now if it, it will make a difference because the first time I tried to help her and we fell in love so this time it's more of a compromise as a, like a friendship type thing you know what let's let her go let's let, get her out of here but the way she is now because this is such a different side to her oh for the love of good I'm glad you've come to your senses you're making a huge mistake let's see no you're doing the right thing. 
You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key. Nope. Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to- Yep. And if there isn't the key, what, uh, do you have an idea? She's gonna bite her arm off. I'm going to check upstairs. Maybe the key's still lying around. I didn't choose this one the last round, so... I'll be here. Are you? You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs... Oh, it slams. And you click. Uh, hey, let me out of here. Try the door. Return to the bottom of the stairs. Your shouts and pleas are met with silence. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the... Oh, I forgot it's a narrator that's locking us in here, so... I, ha I have tried the door. Way back to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier... Slay easier like you're supposed food. to do. Easier for everyone. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? The knife. Pick it up and cut me out of here. Okay. You won't like what happens if you do that. Uh, save the princess. Let's save her again, but this time it's not like the whole lovey-dovey thing. Against your better judgment, you place the blade against the you cut into her flesh. She's gonna the pull blade, it off. But she didn't so much as utter a sound. Yeah, and it's gonna... Free from her bindings, the princess turns to face you, her fierce gaze meeting your eye. How is she so composed after losing an arm? It's like she isn't even bothered by it. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Sure. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. This is different. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I just can't let her escape into the world. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. I wish... I hope you guys watched the previous video because I was literally in the same situation but it was so different because she was actually nice. Now she's just a little bit of a bitch. So I'm curious to see how her reactions will be. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. Warner. Stop that. I thought this was a little too easy. Your body lunges forward to sink the blade into her back but the princess swiftly moves out of the way before you can connect. Stop it. Stop resisting me. I am trying to get you out of here alive. Resist. The blade. Move. The. Blade. You're doing your best to help me, aren't you? I can see the conflict in your eyes. I'll make this quick. Oh, she's gonna stab she me now? forward and prize the blade from your rigid hands. Maybe I'll see you in another life. Very and different. then she slits your throat with an almost clinical ease. The previous one where she was so lovey-dovey, she actually stabbed us multiple times. Now she just like slit her, thro slit her throat. I think she's learning a lot about herself at the moment. Her face remains unchanged as she watches you collapse to the ground, blood flowing from your butchered neck. I'm curious to know what, what voice this we'll get. This is the end, isn't it? I'm afraid it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. I hope it was worth it. Let's see. Good luck. Chapter 2. The Prisoner. You're on a path. If yep, you're here. yep. So, uh, wait, hasn't this already happened? I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. Oh, you bastard, you're in for it uh, with your dirty tricks. Uh... Don't you start I want to see who the voice is. Morals. The fate of the world is at risk right now, and the life of a mere princess shouldn't stop you from saving us all. Don't forget what he did to us. Voice of the skeptic. I wouldn't trust a word out of his mouth. There's got to be a way out of here, for us and for the princess. We just have to keep trying. I'm inclined to agree. If he doesn't remember what happened last time, maybe it's best to keep it that way. For those who doesn't know, the first ever voice we got was the voice of the cult because we just killed her. The second voice we got when we tried to save her in the previous video, we got the voice of the... Uh, the smitten, I think. So now we have the voice of the skeptic. 
You know I can hear you two, right? It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. And as far as trying to help her goes, need I remind you how catastrophically dangerous she is to the world at large? I told you about the stakes of this situation less than a minute ago. Proceed to the cabin because it's just gonna happen. This guy won't give up any... The narrator doesn't say anything. She will lie. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Don't believe a word she says. Just go in, take the knife, and do what you're supposed to. Wink. wink. <laughs> Did you just say wink out loud? No, I didn't. Wink. wink. <laughs> just ignore this clown and focus on the princess. Proceed to the cabin. How's it gonna look now? The interior there's the nothing there, but there's something there. The yes, 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 yes. Take the blade. I'm not gonna bother Take with like how it looks idea. into the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing another yes. voice, harsh but controlled, carries up the stairs. Is that a visitor I hear? Please come downstairs. It's been a while since I've had. Company. She's so different. Does she remember us? You walk down the stairs and She is so different. Look at how it looks. She looks up at you. So the this also looks different. Her Why the fuck is that thing around her head? Moves. Or isn't it? Chains I'm confused. No, it's not. Wrists to the far wall, joining yes, the yes, yes. Should we be worried about the one around her neck? Exactly. Why would you be worried about her restraints? If anything, they'll make your job easier. Have you noticed the empty chain on the wall? Odd that in a place where everything seems to serve a distinct purpose, there would be something so obviously useless. What Didn't an interesting development. Why don't you have a seat? The two of us should chat before you bury that thing in my heart. I'm not sure I need to do much of anything. Do you see how locked up she is? I'm just going to leave her here. Leave the princess in the basement. Sit with her. Slay the princess. I'm going to step sit with towards her. the princess. But she stops you before you get too close. Holding up one shackled hand. There is fine. I'd prefer we keep some distance until we've sorted this out. Agreed. That's reasonable. It actually we makes sense. Weapon. Sit where you were told to sit. You do as she asks and sit on the floor. Still a good distance away from her. Yep. Thank you. Now, what are your intentions for me? At the moment, I don't know. I just want to chat. My intention is, what do you mean? I've been here before. I'm the only one who remembers. Am I the only one who remembers that? What happened after I died last time? That other chin on the wall. Who is it for? What would you have me do? I think I'm just going to leave you here, actually. Uh, you're not much of a threat to anyone locked up like uh, like that. Bye! Leave the princess in the basement. Leave the princess. Uh... What do you mean? Uh, I've been here before. I... Oh, are we acknowledging that? I thought we weren't going to give away the game. But yeah, I remember. First you make a comment about having been here before, and now this. As much as I would like to remain in denial, it's no use. This has complicated things. It's complicated things how, exactly? Ideally, this was supposed to be one and done. You go to the cabin, you heroically slay the princess, and in the process, you save the entire world from being damned to oblivion. Me. The situation right now, where you're getting a second shot at things, is a contingency. Contingency, dude. A contingency. I just want to like get to know her. For you failing, obviously. And you being here means that things are going to be a lot harder than they were. I really shouldn't say anything else. I'm just going to make it worse. Just good luck. If you knew this could happen, why didn't you tell us? All of this is incredibly valuable information. It would have changed our actions considerably. Agreed. I needed you to be in the dark for as long as I could keep you there. It's important. Necessary, even. And maybe I wanted to be the first version of me that you met. I didn't want to be confronted by the alternative. What? That's pathetic. <laughs> That's pathetic! I never said I wasn't. I get it. 
The, the narrator say yeah. he's pathetic. Let's know that you might not be the first version of yourself. At least we can remember what happened before. Seems like we should count ourselves lucky for that. Agreed. Exactly. He gets it. You're lucky. So don't waste that luck by messing it up again. All right. Moving on. Why is it important for us to be ignorant? How is it ever helpful to be in the dark? The more I say, the more your mind will swim into dangerous waters. Even saying that is too much. Your success hinges on you having imperfect information. For the sake of the entire world, you need to accept that. So I need to accept that I should not know anything or everything and still just do what the narrator tells me. What the fuck? I won't. Exactly. Fine. But you won't get another word from me on the matter. Please, stop talking. Yeah, sure. We'll see about that. Just give it a rest. This isn't helping. Focus. This is a serious situation. You shouldn't be daydreaming. Lady, I'm talking to myself. You were asking about my intentions earlier. What do you mean by that? Uh, what happened after I died last time? That other chain on the wall, who was it for? I don't know, but you could always try it on. Nah. Maybe it'll fit. I hope I don't actually have to say this, but please don't lock yourself in chains. We need you ambulatory if you're going to save the world. Inspector Shackle. I'm not going to lock myself up. You were asking about my intentions earlier, what do you mean? Yes, your intentions. You have a knife. What are you going to do with it? Why are you here? There isn't a keyhole in these shackles, and I don't see any keys in your hands either. So I'm afraid my only way out is another surgical removal. Another surgical removal? Is she forgetting about the shackle on her neck? Or does she think she'd survive a beheading? You're right. Maybe she's delusional. All the more reason not to trust her. Unless she really could survive. Though I suppose you could just be here to kill me. But I don't think that's in either of our best interests. This princess is a lot smarter. What happened after I died the last time? Nothing happened. You died. I went upstairs. I couldn't leave. I found myself in a new place in chains again. More of them. And now you're back. Is that really all she knows? It's not like we have much of a clue about how things work. And she's probably even more in the dark than we are. You're looking at me like I might be hiding something. I'm not. I guess it's possible she really doesn't know anything. Maybe both of us are stuck in this loop without any idea why or how. Okay, uh, how am I supposed to cut you out if you didn't notice your head is in shackles too? No, no. Like I trust you to come any closer with that knife. All you're going to do is hand it to me and watch me work. I'm really inclined but to do that. She would have to cut her head off, right? She can't be suggesting that. She certainly seems confident. Maybe she knows something we don't. The narrator is going to say something now. Or maybe you should consider the most likely scenario. She's bluffing so she can disarm you. Though if she isn't bluffing, whatever she has planned might be for her benefit alone. There's no guarantee that what's good for her is good for us. So what should we do? I don't know. I'm just spelling out our options, listing the pros and cons. This is a difficult let round. Me help you. I'll start with the cons. If you're handing her your weapon, the cons are that she might use it to escape and end the entire world. And she might use it to kill you. That doesn't sound great. What about the pros? <laughs> there are none. The pros are that we can't trust him. Possibly even more than we can't trust her. And whatever she has planned could do something to mess with what he has planned. Or maybe they're both screwing us over in their own ways. Jeez, this is a hard one. I'm not giving you a weapon. Uh, you realize that that I have as much reason to distrust you as you have to distrust me, right? I'm not giving you a weapon in case you've forgotten you killed me with it last time. Uh, I can cut you out of here. I'm not giving you a weapon. Okay, I'm trusting you. Give her the knife. Uh, if you want to leave, I'm going to be the one with the weapon. Deal with it. 
Uh, I think I'm just going to leave you here. Actually, you're not much of a threat. And then slay. I can inspect it, but I don't want to lock myself in here. Uh, you realize that I have much of the structure to the structure? I do. So I guess this all comes down to which of us caves first. And it's not going to be me. I'm extremely patient. Well, you have been locked up for quite a while. It's probably better if we take action anyway. No use trying to wait her out. That's playing to her strengths. I'm not giving you a pen. I'm not giving you a pen in case you forgot to kill me with us last time. But sure. Let's talk about what happened. Because what happened is exactly my issue. The last time we met, your body tried to kill me. That's true. If you take a moment to imagine yourself in my position, I think you'll understand why letting you near me with that thing is untenable. So... Be a good bird and hand it over. And if being nice isn't enough motivation, well, I think you're aware that I'm not afraid to resort to violence. If you come near me with that thing, I will strangle you with these chains. She's a badass. She beat around the bush, does she? Yes, it's almost like she's a fundamentally bad person who wishes to inflict pain on others. Shut up. Or it's another bluff. No hard feelings, of course. But you should be aware of my position. Uh... I like this one. You're the one in chains. If anyone should be negotiating here, it's, it's you, not me. If you don't give up now, then I have no choice but to slay you. Okay, I'm trusting you. If you want to leave, I'm going to be the one with the weapon. Deal with it. If, it, if that's how you're going to be, then I guess I have to do this. I think I'm just going to leave you. If you th if you don't give up now, then I have no choice but to slay you. You don't want to change. You, uh, if anyone should negotiate. Usually you'd be right. But this isn't exactly a usual situation. I'm not someone you can wait out. That's true. We've already been over this. I'm more patient than you'll ever be. Aren't you hungry though? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna trust her. Let's see what happens. Slide it over. No, absolutely not. I am not letting you hand your only weapon over to the world-ending princess. Until you come up with any other idea, like, say, I don't know, doing your job and slaying her, you remain rigidly in place. You tried this last time. Do you want to know how it went for you? Oh, I remember. She killed us, which, by your estimation, ended the world, right? Oh, Rory, try to take it. <laughs> exactly. If I were you, I wouldn't be too keen on repeating your mistake. Hell, we could even force your hand and do it ourselves. I'm not afraid of dying again. Are you? Nope. A little. A little. I think you got your point across. Fine. I see. So the narrator in the first chapter, right, the first round, does what he wants to do and kills the princess. In this, and then in the second round, he doesn't ever say. You slide the blade across the floor. The princess maintains unsettling eye contact as she reaches down to pick it up. Thanks. She pulls up her hair, smiling slightly, as she raises the blade to her throat. What is she doing? She doesn't say another word as she cuts into her own neck. No. I want to watch this shit. Her eyes stare forward, unblinking, as she soars through skin, veins, cartilage. At last she reaches bone, the blade grinding audibly against her vertebra as it continues to slice its way through her neck. I'll be damned. She's actually doing your job for you. Why would she do that? Huh. So that's her play. Killing herself? She isn't dead yet. Finally, you hear a snap. Her eye twitches. There's an uneasy silence. She remains motionless for a long moment 
her twitching eye the only movement in the room, until at last it stops in an unsettling half-wink. Her head twists slowly to the side, flopping to her shoulder, Oh my god! and her neck opens. The remaining tissue is not enough to hold the weight of her severed head. It stretches and tears until finally it falls to the floor, completely free. It bounces a few times before rolling to a stop at your feet. Oh no, oh no, oh no, what did we do? Can, can we put it back? Please <laughs> tell me we can put it back. The princess's eyes stare up at you, dead. Congratulations, you saved the world. This would have been an amazing book. Are you sure she's not winking at us? Obviously not, she is thoroughly deceased. I hate this. Can we just get out of here now, please? Of course, the princess is slain and the world is saved. Whenever you're ready, you can proceed to your reward. Really? Now the only one who's happy is the narrator. We should take her with us, don't you think? What? No. You shouldn't do that. Why would you do that? Yeah, I agree kind of with the narrator. <laughs> now, why would you do that? I can think of lots of reasons. A trophy, proof of our victory. Hell, we could even give her a proper burial. She did save the world, right? You don't need proof. You don't need a trophy. And she doesn't deserve a burial. Just leave. Even after all that, you're still not satisfied, are you? Something is still motivating you to keep things the way you want them. I'm just eager to put this all behind us and give you your reward. Stop reading into things, the danger has passed. You can relax. I'm just keeping myself sharp. I'm not so eager to put my guard down. I am. I'm on team, let's put this all behind us, so can we leave already? Dude, it's your body, do what you want. I'm not gonna take the prison with me. Bruh. Hmm, I'm gonna do the outsane thing. Take the princess with us. Ugh, fine. You pick up the princess's severed head, its neck stump still oozing bodily fluids. Then make your way back upstairs to the first floor of the cabin. Blech. Did you see that? I could have sworn she moved. I also saw it. She didn't. She's dead. I saw something move. I saw that I moved. But what if she's not? I swear, her eyes are gonna turn towards me now. Watch. Are you listening to yourself? Do I need to explain to you why decapitation is lethal? The door to your bountiful reward is right in front of you. All you have to do is open it. I'm watching you, bitch. Leave the cabin and claim your reward. I'm watching you. You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. Only a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. I'm watching that eye. What you find is... Wait, no, that's not right. Well played. Free a prisoner? This... This is the end of the world, isn't it? Oh my god. I'd at least have time to explain myself before I had to watch it happen. It's already... Bye bye, narrator. Over? Is he gone? But we're still here. Maybe it wasn't the end of the world after all. Maybe it was just the end of his. Thanks for carrying me up here. I had to take it on faith that you would know what to do. I'm glad I was right to trust you. So, this is the outside. Maybe it's just my lack of body, but it's colder than I expected. Oh, there comes the hands, the entity or something. I'm so curious to see what happens, but but you do not get the chance to respond. You, you will never, uh, nor will you ever. It's time to leave memory return. She's gone. Where did she go? No, you can't find her. Yes, uh, approach the mirror. I've already like done those two. I'm just gonna like look at myself and from the last video it said that I've this, grown. This doesn't feel right. It feels different. Final. You're right. Part of me wants the truth, but something stronger is holding me back. 
atmosphere. The voices feel small, distant as you approach. Silence as you reach forward. They're, they're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. Oh! You've withered! Decay! Holy shit! Now I've got like these vine thingies? Okay! Now to see the deity. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. See her up there. Okay. Approach her. I am a growing chorus of contradiction. A mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new. And to look away is to reshape them yet again. All of me is changing. And yet the rest of me is still. Yes, yes, yes. You can't be a contradiction. Contradictions don't exist. How can you stand to be a contradiction? It doesn't matter how many times I go back. At least uh, one of us always hurts the other. Doesn't that change you? Doesn't that make, make you worse? It changes me. But it doesn't make me worse. Nor does it make me care for you any less. Does it make you worse? Do you resent me? No. Um, if anything, it makes me uh, like you more. I don't know what that says about me. It says that your heart is gentle. That even in the darkness you are guided by compassion. Uh... How can you stand to be a contradiction? As easily as you can stand to be you. You are like me. Even if you have chosen not to look at the corners of you that do not fit. Even if you have chosen to ignore the brilliant contours of your soul. Do not understand the word you just said, but anyway. Uh, what do you think of this vessel? This one is cold and cynical. She has protected herself when others could not. She will make for a clever heart. Do not mourn her. She doesn't need to be protected any longer. Oh, I see now, like, the thing is holding her head. Uh, you know that it, uh, Do you know what happens to the world, worlds we leave behind? My perspectives are shadowed. You have seen what I have seen. Just as I have seen what you have seen. The angles of my vantage do not offer me hidden truths, and my attention is turned inward, except when you are here with me. Perhaps this will change when our work is done. Okay. Uh... Have you figured out what you'll want when you have, when we've finished? The desires of my multitude thrive in endless competition with themselves. But none of them rise above their dance to influence me. Huh? I yearn for what I have always yearned for. Our awakening. Other desires shrink in the light of knowing you and knowing me. Other desires shrink in the light of knowing you. Interesting. Is she like in love with me? Do you still not care what I bring you next? In the previous round I played, it, it's, uh, what it said was, uh, what shall I bring you next? She didn't I care. care about your gifts, but I have no preferences to burden you with. Even if I did, I would never dare to tarnish our relationship by assuming myself above you. Okay. So you don't have any preferences on how you'd like to change or grow. The tides do not dictate where they are pulled. A river does not dictate its outlets. My gift to you is to let you choose your path, and my task is to treasure the gifts you bring me. Okay. Um... Uh, you know that at the end of this, when you're finished, I'm going to kill you. But I don't want to kill you. I'm still planning to kill you once we're done with this. If that remains your choice when all is said and done, then you may try. But know that I do not wish you harm, even if you attempt to destroy me. 
I don't want to attack her, but maybe I should to go forward. Your will cuts across the entity in front of you, but nothing happens. My roots burrow in an ocean beyond your sight. We cannot harm each other as we are now. Destroy your body. You raise your will to end your life, but uh, but as it buries into space, your body should should be. You feel nothing at all. Wait, what? Return. One of the many hands in front of you reaches forward and gently touches the side of your face. There's nowhere for you to be but here. Okay. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. Hey, that just happened. I'm guessing this game is just gonna like keep going, keep going, and I have no idea how to actually like come to different conclusions but it's very interesting to see what different outcomes there is in the game but i hope you guys enjoyed and if you enjoyed it leave a like subscribe if you want to and i'll see you guys in the next one let's go